Senator Moran. Uh, Chairman Collins, thank you very much, uh, and thank you to our witnesses uh, for your presentation. Thank you for your presence here. Um, a couple of questions that I was going to ask have been, have been asked and answered, but I do want to take the time that I have to make certain that uh, from my perspective on behalf of many most uh, Kansans, that we express our gratitude to those who are working every day to find the cure for the diseases that my constituents at home in Kansas and people around the country, and in fact, around the world, they and their families are facing. You know, I was thinking as you all were speaking, there's not one American, not one, who doesn't benefit by the research that takes place in the search for that cure or treatment uh, for disease and affliction. Um, I can't think of other expenditures that, you know, maybe our national defense, every American benefits by protecting our country from our adversaries. But many of the things that we appropriate money for are narrow toward a specific cause or a specific organization, uh, a task that government has been given. Uh, this, this task of finding the cure for diseases is there is no one who loses. There's no one that anybody is not benefited even if they, they or their families, their people they know, haven't experienced the diseases that we're trying to find the cure for. I've always said that medical research provides hope. And I think about you, Ms. Stinson, and, and you indicated that not every family would have the capability of having the, the, the right kind of research to, to meet the needs of your circumstances. But I think all of us have hope if we learned something about a family member, ourselves, what we can gain from medical research is the hope that either today or tomorrow or the next day, there's going to be that discovery that makes a difference in a person's life. And uh, I just wanna speak in, in support of this kind of research we can prioritize and we can certainly look for ways to be more efficient. We can find ways perhaps to eliminate things that make no sense at all. But those kind of things should not be the reason to criticize medical research in general or medical research totally. Uh, criticize the mistakes that we make uh, and make certain that it doesn't spill over into destroying an asset that this country has that is so valuable to us. Uh, very few things in life provide, and I, I, I happen to believe there's a, a thing that provides hope in this world, but very few things that we do in Congress provide the hope that NIH provides for people across our country. So let's, let's do our jobs, let's make certain that we make the right kind of choices and make decisions that prioritize and el eliminate things that are that need to be eliminated, but don't fall into the trap of saying that what happens at NIH doesn't matter. And it matters uh, as, as we've been talking, and to, to, as I've been talking at least about individuals and families and people, I wanna make certain that there is no child, no person that we didn't support NIH for that loses out on a trial or a treatment or something that was discovered on the other hand, I also wanna make sure that we don't miss some young person whose dream in life it is to be a researcher, to find a cure for a disease. So we, we have to do our jobs well and do them right. This is again, not just, it's not the so-called throwing money at something to solve a problem, but it's making certain that no researcher misses out on the opportunity of pursuing their dream of research and solutions to life's problems and no patient or potential patient loses the chance to live another day or another year or live a lifetime. We all wanna have the benefit of long life and time with family and enjoyable things. And I look forward to working with my colleagues on this committee to make certain that we don't destroy the dream of a family or destroy the dream of a young person who's gonna solve a problem. We focused a lot of our, our attention on certainly cancer, but Alzheimer's and Down syndrome. Uh, and I just think the potential is so great that uh, we have a lot to be optimistic about. And we ought, ought to take the chance whenever things come our way that actually work, Congress ought to take advantage of being supportive of them.
Thank you very much, Madam Chairman. Thank you. Senator Coons. Thank you, Chair Collins and Vice Chair Murray. Thank you for convening this hearing. 